Spring is in the air, it's March, and we are celebrating women. I'm very excited to be here in Palm Beach showroom today. It's the opening night preview uh, for the exhibition called Future is Female, showcasing artworks spanning from the early 20th century up to today. Without any further ado, let's go in. My namesake artist Jane Baldrige loves water, which is reflected in her art. I paint abstract seascapes um, because for my entire life it's been all about the water. You mentioned that you're a captain. How yeah. did it happen? <laughs> it's kind of unusual for a woman to be a captain. Well, <laughs> it is. Interesting story. But when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a sailor and a painter. Mm -hmm. So at the age of 13, I sailed across the Gulf of Mexico. And I raced sailboats, but I, in my off time, I also helped deliver boats to and from places like uh, Mexico to Honduras, wow. uh, Mexico to Texas. It's impressive. And what about that piece? Is she is a, a, a mannequin that I have covered in recycled navigational charts. Those are all areas that flood on a regular basis and could be permanently, have permanent inundation in areas of course, yeah. in the next 10 years. It's my social commentary statement trying to work with the world to bring attention to things that people need to pay attention to. Right, thank you very much. The event is organized in partnership with Women of Wall Street. Here is Jules Zarin, one of the members of this organization. So I'm a um, five-time author. I've uh, written uh, cookbooks, mostly plant-based. Um, I'm also a longtime mixologist and a nutritionist, and so I'm the guest uh, mixologist this evening. I created a, a lovely botanical uh, spritz um, using Spring 44 gin and Topo Chico um, water, mineral water, and um, uh, the, the, I made a homemade uh, botanical uh, with uh, lavender and um, elderflower. It's just a beautiful way to celebrate women and the, the soft softness of women, female, uh, for this exhibition. So, yes. Looking forward to try it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> thank you yes, so much. Yes, of course. Thank you. Canadian-born, Palm Beach-based artist Kasha is a showroom regular who always brightens up the room. I'm one of the featured artists. Well, I'm super thrilled. And I brought to the table my flower puzzle series. Okay. And I've shot different locations on the island, with the exception of the white roses. That was South Beach. But I have A1A, Hibiscus Avenue, which is the street between Tiffany and Chanel, South Beach. The yellow is Worth Avenue and then A1A on the end. Mm -hmm. Every single piece has been placed perfectly so that they fit and in essence create this flower puzzle effect. All right, thank Thanks. you very much. Well, nice. Always great to see you. My next guest has a fascinating life story. My name is Danuta Rothschild. Interesting name, not very Polish sounding, right? That's well, uh, my husband French. my was the Rothschild but he passed away a long time ago, 20 years ago, and I still got the great name. Can you please tell me a little bit about your art? How did you start doing it? Well, my husband was in the movie business, okay. and so I always have the access to be around celebrities and movie sets and uh, painting sets and creating stage, staging and doing all that stuff, but uh, I start studying art in Poland, mm -hmm. in Warsaw, and I was already uh, on first year in Poland in Academy of Arts in Warsaw, and then I have to leave, and it was my happiest time. And I had to leave, you know, because of, of Soviet regime. Yeah, there was communistic regime, and we had to go, plus I'm partially Jewish, and was uprising then and people had to go. What inspires you? <sighs> Life itself. Mm -hmm. uh, everything inspired People walking, I like to take photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when I start creating and putting paints mm -hmm. on, on a canvas, things are starting to come about. Mm -hmm. I cut 
images out of papers or I take the photographs and I make copies and I cut them out and it's like putting a puzzle together. This is my granddaughter. That's what I do, you know. I pick up a subject and sometimes the subject pick me. So I never know what's going to show up. I paint all the time. Thank you very much, Danuta. It was a pleasure. Nice meeting Thank you. you. Meet the owner of a Detroit art gallery, Wendy Halstead. Uh, today, since we're focusing on the female, it's a uh, female artist mm -hmm. back dating from 1900 to the present day. Some of them over there, Bernice Abbott, Emma Jean mm -hmm. Cunningham, um, Barbara Morgan, Ruth Bernhard, Margaret Burke White, oh, Diane Arbus. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the a lot of the female photographers focused on imagery of different people. And I see a lot of dancers. Yep, wow. a lot of dancers. Women like to photograph dancers, uh -huh. Barbara Morgan especially, mm -hmm. and Imogene Cunningham. They were very involved in that community. And how did you start? Um, we are the oldest fine art for gallery in the country. Uh, mm -hmm. My dad started the gallery in 1969. Oh, wow. um, so and I kind of carried on starting my own gallery in 2006. Great. Um, we worked together for a while and so it's just kind of in my blood. I had time to spend with the photographers so that's when you get to know them, people like Ensel Adams and Andre Cortez, I got to spend time with. Mm -hmm. So that was really a wonderful mm -hmm. way to go. And then we have some contemporary people as well, like Angela Sua. I do a different style of photography. It's almost a hybrid process. So it's a 19th century style of cyanotype. And then I combine it with my digital photography and I transfer it onto silk. So you really get the, the, the idea of having the antique process versus the new contemporary and a little bit of a mix together. Um, and I chose silk because of its nice and flows and you really get the sense of being in nature once you look at my series. Um, this is particularly the Highland Blue series. Last but not least, I had to meet the artist who created these beautiful floral paintings, Carol Caliccio. I'm an abstract floral painter, and I like to use a technique called the loaded brush technique. What is it? That's when you use a large, flat brush, and you fill it with paint, and you can see the brush, brush strokes. And I also do a little bit of um, Jackson Pollock where I throw the paint onto the canvas and I like to layer and if you could see here there's uh, there's metallics and golds and silver and I try to do things that my teachers told me I wasn't allowed to do. Like what? Um, like mix gold with silvers and you know fluorescence with mats and it's just fun. And I like to have a little celestial spin. That's what you have in uh the second painting, right? Yes, the this celestial. is called uh, The Seven Sisters, uh -huh. and that's more celestial. Yes. I just love to paint. That's my passion, and uh, I want to make people happy. And here you have it. The Pleiades, the seven sisters of the Palm Beach showroom, who make us happy and inspired. From Palm Beach, I'm Jane Reeves. Happy spring.